What now? Sure thing. Do you want to have it standing here, or do you want to find a seat first? All right. Now, on to the drinks. Do you want to have mead, wine, or just plain milk? Oh, do tell. Ah, a classic. Likewise. Remember the Civil War? The one that you got yourself involved in? Waking up to this whole mess was truly something I did not expect. I expected a change in who was the High King, but I didn't know that things... they were more complicated. Cyrodiil being the seat of an empire, for one. And besides this whole civil contention for Skyrim's land, we have Altmer nationalists eyeing to conquer it as well. Well, this is more of a unique and intimate journey. In bed. I was just thinking about the last time we, you know, did it. Besides how powerful you are in combat, you truly are something else in bed. How you manage to have that much stamina and vigor. I don't know, but it keeps me wanting for more. What do you say? Let's go to bed later. I know. Hmm. You know, life could always be better. Fewer people out to get me. Skies without dragons. Skyrim's weather. <sighs> oh well, won't even get started on that one. But I'm still grateful for two things in my life. Good books and good wine. Well, all right. Maybe three things. Good books, wine, and you. So, what do you want to talk about now? I do believe that we can. I've read a similar concept before. It was in the new type theory proposed by a Dwemer philosopher long ago. He said that if men and myrrh alike cast aside the shackles of what has binded them to selfish squabbles and struggles to power, they could mentally evolve, in a sense, to be higher beings, new types, people who can more easily detect the thoughts and intentions of others and are more amissible to understanding. I would like to remember the name of the book, or the author, but I'm afraid it's been lost to time. Ah, uh, it's nice, spending time like this, just having drinks together, 